little bit about my love life in my book. Today we're going to talk a little about Liz and her love life. I'm Marion Baker, author of The Lime Green Plastic Covered Couch, and this is Liz Coleman, counselor from the spacesbetweencounseling.com. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so today we're going to talk about Liz. So um, where Liz comes from is again a different place than where I came from in relationship. Her pattern was to be attracted to unavailable men. So I just want Liz to share a little bit about how you know that since this was your pattern, how did you discover this was your pattern? This was your pattern, and where did it come from? Oh, it's uncomfortable to talk about this, but <laughs> <laughs> very important. Yes. Um, hmm. <laughs> I really, I don't, I have no no words in my head right now. <laughs> Um, well, I discovered my pattern after doing a lot of counseling. We went through our three-year three PRAC counseling program at uh, Clearmind International. And so there's a lot of uh, looking into what, what I do and what I don't do, and what works, what doesn't work in my life. And I was always in and out of relationship. So I finally came to a place where I felt I really wanted a long-term, loving, committed relationship. And I could see that the, the men that I was dating, that wasn't available. <laughs> and they weren't available. And I started to see that pattern coming out where um, I'd be really attracted to somebody. And, and then they would be sort of distant or um, emotionally distant where I would ask them things and they would sort of avoid answering or they would even tell me oh well I'm not really ready for a relationship and yet I would still continue on having a relationship is that not a sign <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, 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 to me it came across like yeah, he told me wasn't it, he wasn't available, and I said, "Great, <laughs> let's have a relationship." That's not embarrassing at all. Yes, that's what I did until I realized. I said, I, "I no, I want a committed relationship, and I had to do something different. And it's not, it's not easy to do to make a change when um, what I was used to was." was that kind of, I was actually kind of used to that distance and so it was comfortable for me. So, you know, wanting something more and then taking a step to do that was, was challenging, but I, I knew it was what I wanted and mm -hmm. what I needed to do. Yeah. So going back to the boundary line, what I saw you do more and more often was continue to step up to that boundary right. line. Right. Asking questions. Mm -hmm. I would avoid asking questions because I didn't want to know the answer. So I had to start asking the difficult questions, mm -hmm. even as simple as, do you want a relationship? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, it can be yeah. that simple. Yeah. So what, what are you looking for? Right. Yeah. yeah. What are you looking for? Yeah. 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 yeah I, I saw you, you know, day by day, take steps towards that and, and keep asking myself, what do I want? What do I want? And, and, and importantly, what does he want? Like, and does that fit? Right. Like, are we on the same page here? And yeah, it was also this similar to the boundaries that we talked about in the first video about asking for what I what I need. So recognizing mm -hmm. what I need and asking for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it made a bit. I saw it make a big difference for you and how you approach relationships. And I saw you struggle with it because it's not always easy. No, it so. wasn't my familiar place. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, the other thing that I saw you do was actually presenting what I call presenting your dilemma which we will talk about a little bit more in the next video. So we will leave you with that. Um, thank you again. If Ladies, if this is feeling a bit confusing for you, which is not probably not surprising, um, Liz actually does one-on-one -on -one counseling. Um, so if you want to visit her website at thespacesbetweencounseling.com, then she can help you out if you're looking for more private one-on-one -on -one sessions. Thanks. Thank you.